Hi, my name is Chris Jukes from Networks First. Um, we've had some reports that show with Calendar One, you can see the data coming from the Exchange, but you're not able to view this in the default native Calendar app on your iPhone and iOS. Uh, this is a problem with the native iOS and Calendar, and I'm going to show you how to overcome that. Uh, simply go to Settings, choose Mail Contacts Calendars, and you'll see in Accounts, like me, you may have many accounts that connect to different calendar and email systems, maybe Exchange, Gmail, iCloud, etc. Some, if not all, of these accounts will have connections for the calendars. You can see on mine I have calendar one says calendar, exchange says calendars, and the Chris Dukes, which is a, a Gmail uh, account, says calendars. You need to turn all, that's every single one, of your connections with calendars off and then turn them on one at a time. Let me show you what I mean. So, okay, I've got calendars in calendar one, so let me turn that off. So we go into calendar one, we go into calendar, and we simply turn it off. It will say the data will be deleted from your iPad. That isn't a problem, because this is simply a copy of information you have in the server. So as soon as you switch it back on again, that data will come back down. So you will not lose the data. So I'm gonna delete that. So we'll say that's done. The other one that I've got a uh, calendar in there, let me show you, is, uh, is some stuff for Google. Again, don't worry because it's stored in Gmail. I don't have to worry about the fact that it's not going to come back. Uh, and the other place I've got was uh, my Exchange connector. So I'm going to do the same there. Now I've turned them all off. Okay, I haven't got anything left there with calendar in the list. So I'm going to now switch them back on. So add a... Uh, my calendar in iCloud, so let's switch that one back on. Um, it's going to say merge. I, I don't want to merge my calendars in iCloud, and so I'm going to cancel that. Um, what I would expect you to see at, at this point is do you want to keep local calendars? Let me just turn on my exchange again. Okay, so this is what I would expect you to see. Do you want to keep local calendars? And what it what it's explaining there is there are some calendars which are local calendars which are created on your iPad. This is the calendars that were created by Calendar One. This is how Calendar One stores copies of the data that it takes from your shared calendars. It stores them on your iPad or your iPhone as local calendars. So you definitely want to say at this point, keep on my iPad. And when he asks, do you want to keep them, you say keep. Um, now we will see those local calendars when you're going to your calendar. If I go into my calendar app, you can see I have uh, this section at the top that says on my iPad. Now that is where you will see the calendars that were created by Calendar One. So if you've created four or five calendars in Calendar 1, you'll see four or five calendars listed under On My iPad. You can turn them on and off as you wish. You can change the colours as you wish, and, and that's how they will appear in, in, your, in, your, uh, in your iPad. And that's all you need to do. It's a simple process. Um, it's as much as a pain that this happens for me as it is for you. Uh, it's just the way iOS works. Um, local calendars get hidden and this is the only way you can uh, make them show again. You don't have to do this every single time. If you create more calendars now in Calendar 1, uh, they will automatically be shown under your iPad, on my iPad or on my iPhone tab. You only have to do this process once. Okay, I hope that was uh, helpful. Um, as always, if you need to contact us by email um, calendar calendar one at networksfirst.com thanks a lot bye